So first, I, I will do a formal thank you. Give her teeing up, Amanda. I love that. That was good. So yes, a, a thank you. Huge. We'll start with the staff who are never, I mean, and most of us know who they are. So if they would stand up, please. Um, Lynn, Tiffany, Alex, Steve, Sarah. Where's Glenn? Glenn. Paul. So, you know, when you look at the size of the center and the program, and then anytime we've had reviews or anybody comes in and they're like, you do all this with just that many people? I'm like, yeah. So don't complain to me about efficiency when I hear other places, because what we do, and they're amazing. I mean, every little detail, you know, Lynn, for example, we got to have food in the morning. How can we not have food, right? If you all got here to have food, or we got to have coffee breaks, or we got to have dinner, what we're going to have. Every detail is meticulously thought about. And uh, so, so really a big thank you to all of them. Um, huge thank you to our speakers uh, from last night, our panels today, our speakers that are about to speak. Um, I was, you know, I know it's my event. I'm biased, right? I'm going to use it. I do UX too, so I'm biased. I'll, I'll, I'll state that here. But what was really the word that just struck me after listening to the panels this morning was just the authenticity of it and, and the passion. Everybody, they, they love it. They love what they do, and they want others to know that. And they want you in the program. They care about their program they came from. Um, and it just really shone through that when you were here, and now you're off doing amazing things in other countries, right? Other industries, obviously across the US. So, you know, to know that we had a small part in that is, is, is pretty amazing and pretty fulfilling. So I thank you all and for a, a terrific job. Um, lastly, I have to give a, a huge thank you to Stephen. Uh, so when I took this job, We've worked together for quite a while now. And those of us that know, I mean, we, it's not always you know, happy. And we, we, we argue, and we fight, and we make up. And, but what I love about that relationship is because we know when a decision gets out the door, we have really gone after it. And we've thought about it from a lot of different angles. And it's, and it's going to work pretty well, um, as opposed to, you know, if I say something, he's not just going to be like, yeah, fine, do whatever. We, we don't do that to each other. It gets annoying sometimes. We know. We know each other. But in a good way, right? And I can't imagine anybody else running this program. I mean, you just do a phenomenal job. And everybody, you know, if you've interacted with him, the passion he has for every single student, every single course, anytime a new instructor. So, so our relatively new instructors, did Stephen meet with you about the course before you taught? Yes. Did he talk about what the expectations were? Yes. I have a daughter in grad school right now somewhere else. They do not do that. Let's say she's having a very different experience in her courses right now. And we don't have that here, and that's largely due to him. So again, thank you. <laughs> and what I'll wrap up with before we move on to our speakers here is just you know the importance of everything that we do in the center. Um, and HCI is a component of that, right? Our center, I mean, and, and there's been a lot of changes. I know most of you are like, yeah, we got new carpet, new paint. We did get new carpet, new paint. And I probably won't do anything more impactful than that in my tenure as director, so it's, it's done. <laughs> but you have no idea what it takes to get new carpet on this campus, by the way. Um, yeah, I, I, I could build three VR systems before I'm going to get new carpet again. But the, you know, we have a research center that does a ton of research, obviously. We also run an education program, and we also have a ton of outreach events. We do between 70 to 100 outreach events a year. In fact, we have one this afternoon. <laughs> Actually, no, two this afternoon. Uh, one more on Monday that we're already thinking about and planning. And it's just so it's it's constant the thing that goes on. And I was talking with um, someone last night about you know what we've done in the center and, and how things go. And we made you know I took a job and what we wanted this place to be, and I put together, I'm not a big strategic planning guy, I don't like these 100 page documents for like the next 10 years, 20 years, I'm not into that. We look about five years out, give me like a five pager that I can digest pretty easily. And when, we, when I put that document together, one of the big things for me that was so important was community. And, and if you go read that document, or you go look on our website, any website, and you see this stuff, you'll see that community is one of the pillars of what we do. And looking around the room and thinking to people that came from the Pacific Northwest or California to come be on a panel here, that's because of this community that we have. Um, we all care about each other. I love the discussion about imposter syndrome because, yeah, we all feel that way. I'm 54 years old. I feel that way many times. And you're probably, I just don't show it. Now, when you get old enough and you realize what that is, you start using his motivation to be like, like Brandon was saying, I'll just ask the question. And then if I'm interested, I'll go learn about it because I know I can, right? So 
the thing is getting back to the community is when you have those doubts, those fears, those questions about anything, employment, imposter, whatever, come and talk to us. When I was telling you about how Stephen cares about it, how I care about it, the staff cares about it, we want to help you. We want this experience to be as to get you ready for that career that you're going to love. So you will be up in the stage 10, 15, 20 years from now telling your story to the next generation of students. Okay, so the community that we have built here, and it takes a lot of nurturing. We got to keep it going, right? We do, and, and thank you to Amanda and the student group for everything that they because they take off so much of the, of the load that we just don't have the bandwidth all the time for. So I really feel lucky to be in this role. Um, it's to have a program that 20 years ago, and as Jim said, yes, I was one of the original interviewers, but they had too many engineers, so I didn't get hired. Yeah, and in fact, what he what he left off on that, by the way, is when he called me, he goes, I actually called him because no one had told me if I had the job or not. And he goes, nobody's called you yet? I'm like, okay. Let me put it this way. When you call your prospective employer and they give you that answer, you didn't get the job. <laughs> I'll just let you know that right now. So anyways, but I ended up here and to be involved in this and where we're at now and, and to see where our future looks very right, I'm, I'm very pleased and I'm very honored and it's, and it's a testament to all of our staff, our faculty, and all the students. So thank you and on to the next part of the program.